Well, hello everybody, and it's now uh, day, ooh, what is it, day five or day, yeah, day five of us not having any electrical hookup. And we're still not panicking at all around the battery power. Um, it's a it's a wet and rainy day it's been cloudy all morning and i'm just going to see what the um battery power is like here so um <laughs> look at that still at 94 percent and even on a cloudy day we are getting uh a, well just about one one amp to uh, down to about 0.8 of an amp coming in and um, we're using about an amp of power at the moment so for forever whatever we got switched on probably battery chargers um, because we've got um, we've got this Wi-Fi device continually on power uh, through this USB port um, and what I'm thinking is that we're probably, in terms of battery power, we're probably going to go for another, um, at least one more 110 amp hour battery. Uh, I'm, get, I'm definitely going to get uh, an inverter. Um, I might get a couple of inverters. Now you might ask why, why would I need a couple of inverters? Well, I think I think we're going to get a big inverter, as in. Um, one to one that will rub the microwave uh, on the odd occasion we might need it, and maybe a smaller one where we can charge up things like the vacuum cleaner. Um, another, you know, we might want to plug in one or two other bits and pieces uh, on occasion. So a small inverter, maybe a 500 watt, um, and a maybe a 1500 watt uh, with a with a peak power of, of maybe 2000 watts um, inverter to run things like the microwave uh, and maybe you know maybe this the 500 watt could run the kettle as well so oh so, and my soup maker oh and uh, wendy's uh, <laughs> we had a battery outage there so wendy was just saying about her soup maker as well to plug into the um inverter so yeah so two or three um, bits of kit that we could plug into an inverter and it might help out with the occasional sort of battery charger as well um things like the camera batteries strangely uh and uh you know although we've got we've got sort of 12 volt charging for pretty much everything we've driven uh all the way from where were we knighton yeah yes uh right Chair. down yes. to brighton yeah so today has been travel tuesday yeah knighton to brighton yeah <laughs> and it's and rained all the way it has it's yes, rained, rained, all, rained the all the way it's all been the way. Uh, a dismal dismal day yes um well, you saw it was cloudy and wet this morning, mm. and that hasn't stopped. No. It's currently it's sort of dusk outside now, mm. um, and it's misty. It's cold as hell, oh. um, and well. Well, it's not been a very good day because last night um, Pippin got bitten by the pub oh. dog at the haberdasher's arms, and the haberdasher's yeah, the haberdasher's arms. She, say that, and I thought she was all right but she's been quiet all day and we just let her have a little run but her mm. back is so painful and she's so quiet that's why she's mm. just lying next to us under a blanket so yeah i think i'll have to Down there she is i'll have yeah. think i'll have to, i'm going to find a vet tomorrow and take we'll her just to. pop her in just have a little look at yeah. i mean it seems, I know where this one. it seems quite sore but yeah. it's not um well uh, uh, it doesn't look too bad. I can't, it's difficult to see with the fur, but I know she's got Probably just the as sore well, back. just to have it, just have a little check, check out. Mm. Um, and uh, well, the Haberdasher's Arms, great pub stopover, mm. seven pounds a night. Yeah. Um, the dog. Well, I went in, and the dog seemed really, really friendly. I did, went in, checked to see if they okay for us to park overnight. Um, 
and the dog was really friendly. So we went in later on hmm. and uh, <laughs> all started off quite quietly and then all of a sudden, right out of the blue, the dog attacked Pippin. Yes. They were, you know, milling around with each other and then all of a sudden, so um, after we'd sort of recovered a bit from that and Pippin had stopped shivering um, and shaking like a nervous wreck, anyway, we had a little look at some more reviews on the Haberdasher's mm. Arms and it does say, for, you know, quite, and quite a lot of the reviews, it's at okay, uh, you know, it's okay and if you discount the mad, the dog, mad dog, dog called Jen and that's mm. exactly what it is. So, but it's their pub, just don't play pool or don't take yeah, any dogs in with you. He doesn't yeah. like those things. So I if suppose you, if you're just walking on your own, it's probably all right. Yeah, if you play pool, it it doesn't like it at all. Um, and the owners, yeah, we said, oh, you know, doesn't she, said, she like other dogs? And it's like, oh no, she's usually just fine. She's never done that but, before, but that's it's what like, There's loads and loads of reviews of that dog biting but well, it's bitten a person it's now bitten our dog um you know so it, it's a bit it's a bit off to say oh no it's not happened and it has um it's probably all right with them but you know it's all right with people go. i suppose anyway. regulars but anyway that's anyway that's why we're just a bit there down so yeah. what with the rain we're and traveling down, down here yeah. and then just but, with, <laughs> yeah. you know how i get so worried about pipping all the time yeah but we That's are we are parking up uh, yep. overnight for free yep. tonight. We're wild camping mm. in Brighton. Uh, so how many nights is that mm. without electricity now? Well, that's uh, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. That's six nights yeah. without electric. Mm. The battery currently on ninety nine percent. Yeah. Um, so yeah because we've driven 200 miles it charges up so no worries but there's been no sun yeah. today so we won't get any what there's been really no much sun. solar there's, power there was a little bit of solar this morning with the brightness and the you know because it's not direct sunlight it works off it's uv so it's ultraviolet light um that it works off so that's the thing you need to you need to bear in mind but i think um as other people have said on the comments, like if we were in the really short days of, of November mm -hmm. and December where there's not much daylight at all and there's certainly no sunshine, it's cloud cover, wet and rainy, you know, being off grid, being stationary without any additional input to the batteries mm -hmm. would deplete them, I think, mm -hmm. um, a lot more because and and another thing, in the in the winter months, you've got lights on more because it gets dark sooner, it gets dark earlier in the day, and um, you know, of course. So I think um, we we'll be sort of trolling around here as much as we possibly can without electric, and we'll be, be reporting on the battery condition and how it how it all goes and how it all fits together and uh, I've really got a plan to get Nikita Chloe upgraded with extra cigar lighter 12 volt cigarette lighter outlets um, you know the the plug-in things so that we can and I've thought about this a lot during the last couple of days I've thought the cigarette lighter th solution might be the better one because not only can you plug in things like the camera battery charger, you can plug in the USB double chargers into those as well. So they can be dual use. Unless I can get, um, and I think there's probably available, cigarette, cigarette lighter plugs, 12 volt plugs, 12 volt outlet plugs and with an integrated USB or two in the same thing and then get those wired in and I think what I'll do is I'll just have those wired in from the battery and put one next to every th um, 
230 volt three pin outlet because uh, I mean they seem to be in convenient places I've got one over there behind the camera next to the habitation door got one up here in the kitchen there's one in the bedroom uh, there's one down there uh, just by the behind the passenger seat so that yeah we've got four or five in here um, and then maybe one up in the um, in the electrical uh, unit cupboard because that oh, that's going to be really easy to wire in because it probably comes straight off of that um, control unit um, and then maybe a couple of USB ports above the bed one one for me for my iPad and phone one for Wendy for her iPad and phone and then that will do it and um, of course the extra, extra battery I think mm. so I'm thinking I think we might go for maybe if we can fit two extra batteries so we've got 440 amp hours of battery life and just a little bit of technical about amp hours so every electrical device uses a certain amount of amps like the TV I think is 0 0.2 amps so an amp hour means if so if you've got a hundred amp hours you can use a device that draws one amp for for theoretically 100 hours although you never want your batteries to deplete lower than 50 percent so a hundred amp hour battery would give you a one one amp power supply for 50 hours without ruining the battery now bear in mind that a TV is 0 0.2 or a fifth of an amp you could run you could like five times that so you could run a TV of a 100 amp hour battery for 250 hours that makes sense um, and it would be depleted so that's how it all works and you have to add up all the devices and all the amp draw that you want to go on those and then roughly how many hours a day you would use that so if you've got something that draws one amp and you're using it for three hours a day that's three amp hours that sounds obvious but some of you might not know or some of you might think that oh, I don't know that because there's been there's been a lot of comments on uh, all the battery thing um, I've done a lot of reading up a lot of a lot of um, research on it I'm not saying I'm a know-it-all on it but I do know quite a lot however because Nikita Chloe is still under warranty I'm not gonna do that work myself I could probably fit a distribution board for the 12 volt wire it all in myself pull it off the batteries add the new battery in and so on I could probably do that all myself but I think it I think it I think it's worthwhile paying somebody a couple of hundred quid to do that work because I you know it's probably it's probably three hours labor maybe to wire all that stuff around because the wire routes are easy um, anyway I think that's it for today we're in for a quiet evening we're gonna have some have some tea um, watch a bit of YouTube and uh, I'll be editing this video and uploading it so that you can see it later on today hmm. anyway it is time you, so, you say, say goodbye, Wend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Steve. <laughs> goodbye, Steve. So say Pip, goodbye, Wend. We'll let you know how Pippin gets on. Oh, we will, yeah. Wendy's very worried about yes. Pip's quick. Yeah.